guys. Welcome to Grimes Finds. You sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure about it. It's not gonna like blow my brain out or something? No, it shouldn't. I have a short gag reflex. Is that, gonna be <laughs> that might be a problem. All right. Head like this? Yeah. And it won't go down my throat? It shouldn't. I have a gag reflex. I know Did you I tell do. you that? Yes. How hard do I squeeze? For, you need further over. Like your head needs to be, le yeah, like, like that. This? Yes. Is there somebody watching me? The kids are upstairs. The kids had friends over for the first time in eight years. I'm joking. Eight Since years. the Rona. Since the Rona. I'm staying safe until I see if all these ding dongs that were out protesting get it. If not, then I don't, I don't believe, believe it. it. I don't believe it no more. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. It's going to come out this one, right? That's right. You said it can go in my ear, though. I said if you have a big. I, just, clog? Yeah, if you have a really big clog. Bad to stuff. Is that what happens when it gets infected? Yeah. Can you tell I'm wasting time? Just try it. When I go to the doctor, this is how I act. I know. <laughs> is this far enough? Uh huh. And okay. just squeeze the water. How hard? Like if you were to say. I mean, enough to create pressure. Just that? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Is this far enough? Bad reflex. All right, ladies and gentlemen, What's take up, two. What's up? Good morning. There, I didn't, I didn't really get you. <laughs> this is Grimes household, man. This is what happened when we do YouTube. Oh wait, that's the thing that goes through your nose to the thing. Yeah. yeah, I did when I actually got a carrot up my nose. A carrot? Yeah. Huh? Go thrifting? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you just fell. I heard it. Yes, it did. You freaking dork. All right. Ready? Love my kids, man. I let them have friends over. Yo, look. I know we live in Texas. Everybody in the mom is like, oh, Texas numbers are freaking quadrupling. It's because of the testing, y'all. It's because of the testing. If you test more people, and it doesn't mean they're active or they're in the hospital right now. Those numbers are including people who just had it and they're over it. Yeah, so, they had it and they never knew. They just got a test process. and they did. So they never knew they had it. So a big portion of those numbers, guys, that's where it's from. All right. All right. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Grimes Fuds. Still not awake after that freaking uh, torture device that my wife gave me this morning. Hey, y'all check it out. Did y'all see our new coffee mugs? Yours will come with no stains because they'll come brand new in packaging. Links down in the comments if you want one. I think it's a pretty cool mug. Everybody should have a uniform on the mug. Let's see what these wiener heads are doing. I'm going to take the shortcut. Gene always runs over these holes. Look at these holes. Right here, look. Hey, I told y'all not to park right here because of this. I told y'all not to park here because of this. Look how close you got to that pole. Oh, man. You gonna pay for that? That's not my car. Uh, oh, you gonna pay for that? <laughs> All right. Well, All right, hey, he gets a free pass. He didn't know, he didn't know. Y'all, if we're being for real, look, look. Every time I see that dude from my, I'm like, man, I did. I thought I hired a dude and it looks like a chick. Doesn't it? No. Watch this, I'm gonna walk behind him and y'all tell me it don't look like a chick. Let me pass him the chick. Hey, I don't know if I mentioned, but don't forget the big candy machine. That starts at a dollar, y'all. The mechanisms seem like they work and everything, and there was nickels in it. So don't forget, that's up for a dollar. And the old vintage metal. It's not plastic, guys. That's metal. Dr. Pap uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper advertising. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all made a mess in here. What's up, King Wiener? <laughs> there's, a, there's the other two wieners. This is King Wiener over here. She's King Wiener. When this King Wiener ain't around. Yeah, here's the auction. Look, all this stuff is up. We're adding stuff today, right? We're adding lots today? Yes. Yo, we already had that bike, but look, I've already got people asking about this bike. 
I looked this bike up. Is this the Orange County Chopper one? Stingray? Yep, yeah, sure is. Look, Orange County Chopper. Right there. Yeah, you know how much this bike's worth? No. This bike just sold new for 600 bucks. Why? Because it's the Orange County Chopper Schwinn Stingray. That's why. Yo, but check it out. That bike in its condition is at least worth 200 bucks like that. So that is seriously $200 right there off the bat. Remember what I'm going to be showing you today is the thousand dollar unit that we started looking at yesterday. Didn't really do any unboxing, uh, but I just thought I would show you right here. Look, all that packaging is about to go out. Um, and then what we're going to do next week is we're actually going to be cleaning all of this building out because we're going to be moving into our new phase of Grimes Fines Auction. Hey guys, I just remember what we're unboxing first. Remember the Subway bread warmer that was stuffed with all the cowboy stuff that possibly had a cowboy starter jacket from the 90s in it? It's in the truck, so I'm going to get them to get that off. We're going to unbox that first. That's going to be fun. Here's some of the stuff that was already taken off the truck. Some of the stuff that was in the back you probably couldn't see. Look, there's a bowling ball, little ah. kid's guitar. So we're going to unbox all this stuff with you guys. Uh, she moved in a like a quick hurry. Look how she packed. What is that? David and Young. Maybe that's a good hat. I don't know. Oh, look at this. That's cast iron. Look at that cast iron butterfly. That's heavy. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, we'll go through all this. We're going to unbox all these. They said they did find more things that said shoes and purses. So, I'm hoping we're going to find some high-end stuff. You gotta be smarter than the dolly wiener. Look at them boxes kicking your butt. You just dropped my Nike bag. What was in there? You broke it, didn't you? Oh, it's got a tag on it. I'm joking, that's just a lanyard. All right, guys, hey, I wasn't gonna show you these, but y'all know that I had Slobby Robbie on my channel. He is on Netflix. He does all vintage clothing. Dude makes ridiculous money on polo, but specifically like old vintage polo sport. So check these out, guys. As soon as I saw polo sport, these are canvas. Look, they are a little That's bit dirty, nice. but I'm gonna assume these are a little bit older. I wanna say these are probably from the 90s, wouldn't you say? Look at those. So check it out. Hey, let's keep going. I have Jake right there. He's looking those up for me. Okay. Sold listings on eBay, cause I, I just, I'm curious. I'm not gonna lie, if these are my size, like I might want to keep these and they're, they'd be a really tight fit. But hey, uh, we'll let you know what these are worth. Yeah, so he can't find any, but hey, I'm telling you, I know Polo Sport's worth money. Not in the chit chat, down in the comments below. Let me know, look what I just found. Another Polo Sport by Ralph Lauren. Uh, kind of similar, it's probably gonna be the same size. So hey, what I'm gonna do is these are gonna be in the auction. These are gonna be solo lots i might put some of these in the youtube live auction i don't know yet but i'm telling you let me know what you find on these two pairs specifically in the comments let me know what you think they're worth all right guys next box we have box. all right guys so hey one of the biggest reasons i love bathroom boxes is why babe because that's where they keep their jewelry that's where they keep the jewelry is this a jewelry box look that looks like it a looks ring like thing it is. yo this looks like something you keep something really nice in there what's that some kind of plug. Oh my EMG. Do you know what this is? Is it a uh, watch holder? Display. Ooh. Look, and I think it might be, yo. That's nice. If we find the watch disco, what if it's in here, yo? Look, it's a Toyota watch. I bet that's what it does. You turn it on, you know how it I know this? Up. Well, yeah, and then it, it, it lights up and some of them spin. Oh. So the inside of that will probably spin, yeah, because there's speed on it, that's look. That's cool. That's the speed and your watch goes in that to display it. Now, if you're rolling like that, where you just want to display your watch, because I mean, let's be honest, this is probably in your bedroom. Who's going to see that? You. That's weird, but <laughs> I like your, your style, I guess. Look, this is just going to be empty, uh, potpourri. Eh, eh. Hey, you remember what we found in here, right? What? Uh, that used balloon. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, look, makeup. Mm -hmm. So, oh, look, glasses, though. She did... What, what kind are they? No, I don't know. I'm hoping these were coats. Hand polished in China. Oh. Uh, hey, China, good for you for going all out and hand polishing these. All of these glasses we found. Look, we found a Dolce and Gabbana. I thought that meant Donkey Kong. You're like, D&G, Justin. That's not DK. 
All right, guys, check it out. So we're, oh, look, there's blue ones. There's two big ones. What? Oh, look at these. Remember these from the 80s? Yo. Oh, those are cool. These are freaking red. Oh, these are Converse, babe. Oh, are they? Look at these. Converse. And they still got the freaking tags oh, on them. Cool. And the little insert. Look, these are metal, y'all. These aren't plastic. I like Yo, those. Yo, you want to try these human models? I need to start modeling this stuff for my people. What about these? Ooh, I like. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Not in the chit chat. Down in the comments. Which one do you like? The big ones or these? All right, guys. So, hey, check this out. I don't know. Maybe this is a YouTube auction item, babe. What do you think? It might be. Look at all these glasses. Let me know. Oh, those are broke. We'll take the broke ones out, but not in the chit chat. In the comments, let me know. YouTube live auction. If I put all of these glasses, and we're going to find more, I'm sure. Uh, look, we still haven't gone through the stuff, but if I find more, would you guys, is that something you resellers specifically? They're like, Jess, I can't take you serious with those glasses on. Me either. So, hey, check it out. Let me know as a reseller, would you be interested in these to piece these out and make money? Because what I'm trying to do is I told Gina, I want to become the reseller wholesaler on YouTube. That's my goal. I would like to have one YouTube auction a month where it's nothing but for resellers. It's nothing but big quality lots. Not where you just make a few bucks, but where you can make thousands. Sorry, you're the closest thing. It looks like a female from behind. You, just gotta, you gotta watch my video tonight. <laughs> hey, can you try to solve one? I got it. You don't worry about the bike. You know, this is it's from the 20s. This goes in the back, okay? Oh, I'm a flapper. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all know the, uh, what, you play the bass? You play everything. Guitar, yeah. yeah. He plays guitar, but uh, actually, if you go back in some of the videos that uh, I shared of Kurt's messages, uh, Numb Nuts right here is uh, he's doing his little thing with his fingers. <laughs> hey, all right, what do y'all think? You pulling it off? Pulling it off. Spin for him, spin for him. <laughs> Second day on the job, guys. <laughs> hey, some of y'all are asking about Robert. Um, he he works, what's he doing? He's doing AC now. Yeah. Let's be honest. Y'all saw the thing, thing of Robert cleaning the pool? <laughs> Look, Robert knew this wasn't for him. Robert said, I can't do this no more. And Robert, but we love Robert. So we'll have Robert back on the channel because he lives within and I like to crash their house. There you go. Guys, yeah, so hey, what we're doing is, is we were gonna keep unboxing, but Jake just like, hey man, you probably wanna go through that dresser. He said he saw a purse. He said there's a heavy purse. Let's go see what's in it. All right guys, so I'm guessing he's talking about this dresser. He's talking about this dresser. Wow. Yeah, so let's go ahead and unbox this dresser. What's that say? Mark by Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Hey, we'll clean that up. See how clean we can get it. What's that? Okay, that's Ralph Lauren. Uh -huh. Y'all, I'm really hoping, like, y'all are probably like, man, I hope he pulls out Louie. And, man, I'm hoping I pull out some vintage Ralph Lauren stuff because I'm telling y'all that stuff is freaking money. Uh, let's see. That's kind of vintage-y. Look yeah. at that. That's like a, like that's Lucite cool. or something. Isn't it? That's what it looks uh, like. Tiger's Eye? Whatever. Is that, I mean, I don't know. maybe. What is this? Ralph Lauren. Oh, it's got the green and the blue stripes. It's really Ooh, dirty, it but hey, dirty. we've got to check these uh, vintage Ralph Lauren purses too. So we found this. Obviously, I don't think that's gold, but look. Oh, magnifying glass. Where's that camera? Does my eye look big? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I think the camera's dirty. All right. All right, guys. So look, we're probably going to put all of these. We'll pull the Ralph Lauren's and we'll put those in one lot. But look, so we found a bunch of these in something else, not even related to It was the in a purse. But yeah, and it, we didn't film these. But look, they're porcelain. These are like, I love the, just how cold they are. But look, so we'll find the rest of these. Uh, look down in here real quick. Look at this, some kind of gadget. This drawer is stuck. There's, oh, maybe I can get it out. Let's see. Whatever it is. Oh, please be a gun. Wouldn't that be fun? It says honey and almonds. I'm going, there ain't honey and almonds in this. Okay, there's honey on the soap. I wanted to show you this one real quick. Here's the other Stingray, uh, the red one. But look, the graphics are a little scraped up right here and stuff. But we'll clean that up. I mean, the sprocket and everything still looks fairly well. The graphics. So I don't even know if you can get new graphics for it. But hey, that one will be in there too. And all of this stuff right here. All right, guys, check it out. Remember the Subway bread warmer? So look, here's what they just pulled the Christmas uh, wrappers off. But look, my suspicions were right. Look at this. This is old school, y'all. This is like when I was a teenager, 90s. Look at that. That is a vintage starter Cowboys pullover, y'all. That is freaking killer. Look, it's a little dingy, but hey, you could, this could be, this is worth cleaning up, y'all. This is exactly the stuff we're looking for. All right, guys, check it out. This is killer. 
This stuff I'm assuming is from the 90s. I don't know if this is gonna make it in the auction. Y'all know how I'm always giving my son stuff? Well, my daughter is like super into like vintage hoodies and shirts, sports stuff related. How could I not give her this? All right guys, I haven't decided if I'm putting this stuff on my car yet, but look, this is all Super Bowl cowboy shirts from 96. Look, I bought a unit probably about, I don't know, six, four or five months ago, I don't know full of like 1970s 80s 90s cowboys collectibles and we did really well on it so it is a nice surprise to see this stuff so hey thousand dollars we spent so far what you saw last night's video and in this video so far thumbs up thumbs down on the thousand dollar investment yeah all right guys so check it out oh no look this is all brand new stuff look it's a whole new outfit what is that oh you even got a little coin purse because you know when you're wearing this stuff you need coin purse, right? Because you ain't got nowhere else to put anything else. Look, y'all, it's got, look, if this is y'all style right here, I'm gonna put all of this beautiful stuff in one lot. It's all new. And if I see one of you guys bidding on it, I'm gonna call you out, because I can see who's bidding on it. All right, guys, so check it out. I'm Batman. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, y'all wanna know something? That was, that really hurt. <laughs> y'all know, uh, I was super pumped when the, I'm a huge comic book dude. But when Christian Bale first, like, I went to the movie theater. I had a big tub of popcorn. It was ready. He came out. I was like, man, it's going to be the best Batman movie ever. And then when he talked, yo, I wanted to get up and walk out. That was the most horrible Batman voice ever. Oh, yeah, Michael Keaton, hands down, best Batman ever. Uh, so check it out. Hey, we're going to take a lot. So here, you know how I was talking about wanting to be the wholesale reseller for you YouTube resellers? So I'm going to fill this tub up. We find new stuff like this all the time. And I know a lot of you guys sell stuff like this. Look, well, I ain't got no time to be selling no 4 or $5 items. I just don't. But what I, my plan is, and I, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying I've seen the benefits of selling the way I sell. And I like to make big thousand dollar chunks. You know what I mean? Like I like to flip something in a week. I like, I, to be honest, I really need to make $10,000 a week reselling. That's what I need to make. That's what I gotta make. So anyway, I'm gonna start filling tubs up like this. We'll put tape over them and everything. But in the YouTube wholesale reseller auction, I'm gonna give you big clear tubs and we're gonna auction these off. But once these get full of nice new, we'll check all the product. Uh, it'll be closed, stuff like that. So you'll be able to bid on massive lots of resellable items. I just got excited, I peeked. It's a bathroom box. Oh. Bingo! Bingo! Little new items like this, like this is a probably, is that a cell phone case? Please tell me that ain't so. a cigarette case. Yo, if you that serious about your smokes that you gotta have its own purse with a thing, you might have a problem. Hey guys, same thing with the jewelry. The wholesale reseller, I'm gonna put stuff like this in big massive tubs. Like that lot that we sold Deb Myers for $800, she found one Cartier necklace in there that paid for everything. When I tell y'all, I'm, I'm not, y'all will make money on my lots. What sense does it make for me to sell y'all lots? Here's, what most, here's where most business owners go wrong. They're very short-minded. They don't have a big picture mentality, right? What good does it do for me to freaking uh, just hype something up like the big t-shirt lot if I think you can't make money? Are you going to buy from me? Are you going to go tell people, hey, I made money on it? No, you're not. You will make money on my lots. I promise you that. She liked that baby fat, didn't she? Is that yeah. what that is? She had a lot of baby fat stuff, y'all. I got a lot of baby fat. On my body. Look, that's silver, ain't it? Does it look like silver to you? It looks like it. That looks like silver. Mm -hmm. That looks like silver. Ooh, I wish we had a silver charm bracelet. That'd be yeah, nice. Yeah, that looks, looks like it could be. So look at this, y'all. Oh, look. So what we're gonna do is, uh, that looks like a belly button mm -hmm. ring. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this is what they're here for, to help me with things I don't know about. Y'all, I dropped it and I ain't picking it up, but I found what I thought was a tongue ring. I was like, man, that is a, That's a big old sick tongue. old tongue. Y'all let me know, is this a weenie ring? Just down here, under the table. Go under the table. Right here. Is that a weenie ring? That's a, your tongue ain't that thick, is it? I don't know. Y'all let me know if that's a weenie ring, because I ain't touching it. All right, guys, what I'm doing right now, look, Dolce & Gabbana time. I'm digging out the trash because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave all this good sellable stuff in here. And then, uh, like this stuff. I think we put this stuff in our resellable things, right? Not makeup. 
Uh, but then what we're gonna do is, is check this all and then we will uh, start throwing all of this stuff back in here. Okay, like this stuff. I'm even gonna do that. I'm gonna give y'all big resellable lots. Baby fat, you want a baby fat? And then what we'll do is, is all of this will be one lot that it'll start at $1.